What is up guys? Back for another episode here. We're at Autocross. Uh, here's a track map. Boom. We just walked it a couple times. Those, some of those corners are like real tight. And uh, we don't normally have like a layout at some of those spots. So there's like a lot of gravel. So hopefully I'm not in the first run group and they kind of clear that out. But uh, it's a pretty simple course. Nothing too crazy. Um, not a whole lot of drivers either. I think we might have... Well, we have some go-karts here too, which is kind of neat. This is the first time we've had go-karts out of here, but maybe I'd say not even 20 drivers. So we might just split it into to two run groups, skip lunch, and we could be out of here pretty early. Surprisingly not going to be 100 degrees today. I think the high is like 93. So, I mean, if we could get done by like noon one, we'd probably still be in the, the mid 80s. So that would be, that would be perfect. But uh, what have we got new? We got... Went from stage one BFI motor mount to a stage two BFI motor mount and then stage two BFI trans, but it was like the OEM style trans mount with just the insert upgraded. And now I got like their billet um, trans mount. And then I did, uh, shout out to my homie Ryan, uh, sent out these uh, APR cool packs. You guys will see the video on both of those later this week, but. Uh, so far so great i mean these motor mounts you could feel a difference right away i don't feel any added nvh at all um and like uh when you have the ac on and you're like higher rpms and you let off you kind of feel like the motor because of the ac being on all that like you, you just feel it whenever you let off and now like these mounts are holding everything so tight and still together and then uh downshift rev matching you can you can feel that everything's just a little bit more crisp so it's 10 out of 10 so far in my book, but we'll see uh, how it feels on the course. And then with the cold packs, I don't feel a difference. Um, but it's also like all, all the little runs I did yesterday, it was, it was still like high 90s. So, you know, all that heat, pulling timing and stuff. So, but there is like legitimate posts out there with people on the dyno with regular cold packs and they swap in the APRs and they see anywhere from like five to eight wheel gain which I don't even know if you could really feel that in the seat, but uh, it's supposed to get a little bit stronger for spark, so I'll take it, especially with 32 pounds of boost, so. Anyway, we will uh, get the GoPro set up here, and uh, tires are good, waiting to get inspected, but should be a pretty good day. If I, if I get first place today, it'll be my first time getting three first places in a row, so fingers crossed, I'm, uh, I'm hunting for this one today. Let's get it. clips from the beginning of the day I needed to like work on finding my line and stuff the first lap I did I went DNF because I, I totally skipped like a whole section but uh my lap number two was my fastest uh, my third lap I went like a little crazy just to see where like it you were you couldn't really push it far at all just to you know really figure out the limits and then my fourth lap I tried to just like be super smooth 
and it was the, pretty much the same time as a lot before that when I went all crazy so I'm like hmm so I need to like kind of think about my line a little bit harder but uh so I got four laps here in the afternoon I'm gonna throw the GoPro around for that Eric's here he's gonna get some shots on this and then uh, when I go back out to work the track I'm gonna get some some clips as well as the other cars and stuff so but uh, so far so good there's about to be the third runner group though now but I'm holding first place so far so That's a wrap for the day. 
tires are definitely seeing their uh, their purpose here. Everything's looking good. No misfires, nothing cool packs doing great. The new motor mounts are definitely doing their thing. And you can feel it, especially at higher RPM. When you're lifting off, there's not so much, not as a, as aggressive kind of like fall on the nose. Like it's more, I don't know how to really explain it. It's just not as, as that, I guess. <laughs> it's been a long day, I haven't ate, kind of tired, but today was great. Um, they're still doing some runs out of here. I gotta look at the times. We'll see when we do awards here and start cleaning up cones, but the car did great. Um, I'm starting to think, my, well, I did see my coolant temp creep up a little bit, not as bad as it did last week in Lubbock, but I think I'm gonna do a, uh, a coolant flush this week. Yeah, because we got all this whole full weekend next week of drag racing. It's gonna be all types of craziness and fun. I'm gonna come up here, get on the dyno Friday, um, and test and tune Friday night, and then we have the flashlight suit out Saturday night, so it's gonna be a nice, long, fun weekend next weekend. But uh, I think we're about to start cleaning up the track and do awards, so I'll get back to you guys. There was three go-karts at the event, right? The first time I've ever seen go-karts at autocross and uh, one of them did beat me. The only vehicle, the only driver to beat me yesterday was a freaking go-kart by like 0.13 of a second, I think. So, I mean, I can't say that I won the event because I didn't, obviously I got beat by a go-kart, but I did beat two other go-karts, which made me feel a little bit better, but my, uh, my goal to get the three first places in a row was shut down by a freaking go-kart. I'm, I'm not upset, it's, it's kind of cool. It was, it was fun watching them out there and all that, but dang, it was, it was that close, 0.13. But anyway, um, new mods, the, the motor mount, motor mount, trans mount, and then the cool packs, everything worked out great. And like I said, I don't notice any uh, extra horsepower. I mean, even, it, it, it could have gave me like 10, who knows, I have no idea, but I mean, that isn't really that much horsepower compared to how much the car already makes, which we'll know for sure um, next weekend, Friday, getting on the dyno, just gonna do three runs on my 91. Well, the only tune I have is, is a 91 octane tune, but I do put a little bit of ethanol in it to help with knock up top um, because my intercooler is not good enough for 32 pounds. So we gotta, we've been tapering off the boost on the, on the high end down to 28 because of the heat soap. So, uh, once I get a better intercooler, we can take that away and just run the 32 pounds to red line because the car, I and mean, we did have it like that at one point, and we, you know, obviously gone over the logs, a little too much heat up top, especially in fourth gear. It was, it was climbing 30, 40 degrees above ambient. So I don't plan on going math, so don't say go math in the comments. Um, I want to go with the AMS intercooler. It's lighter, should be more efficient, but uh, I need to get seats first. If you guys see the, the inside driver clip, um, you can see I'm like, I don't know if you can, you guys can even tell, but I can tell watching it like in certain corners where I'm like really holding on to the steering wheel to brace myself. Um, so I'm not sliding everywhere. So seats need to come, but you know, that'll be the next thing after, um, you know, this rear end and this, uh, hatch comes in, but, um, I need to go in and get shirts made and I'm, I'm going to start bugging you guys to buy merch because I know I, I can't. I'm not making enough money to, to be able to do all this. So I need to get some, some merch going, get you guys to buy some merch, and it's all gonna go right back into buying, well, into getting more merch made, obviously, but then um, 
getting this car where it needs to be. I'm not going to be able to build this motor. I'm not going to be able to get a dog box. I'm not going to be able to do, you know, all the crazy stuff with this car unless I uh, get some merch and get some some extra income coming, something on the side. I, I and I really still want to put uh, get a dual caliper set up for the rear and have a handbrake in the car for staging. Um, at the drag strip and stuff, it'll be, I, I should be able to cut down my 60 foot time a little bit and then, you know, if I can, you know, can block it on the autocross course for certain, a couple, I wouldn't say like every corner, but some of those corners I, I would benefit from being able to maintain speed and just kick the rear end out rather than slowing down and taking it instead of like understeering for like a real tight corner or whatever. So I think it'd be really beneficial, but everything costs money, 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 money. Thousand here, a thousand there, five hundred five. Everything's so expensive, so I need to get that ball rolling. Um, I'll probably send them an email today. I showed you guys some of the shirts a while back. It blew up on Instagram. I was like, I want one, I want one, I want one. So sweet. We just hit three thousand subscribers. Let's get some merch going. Hopefully, you guys will buy some shirts. Help me out. I'll be able to make more content. And uh, you know, with everything going on, all the weight reduction and everything, you know, I'd be down as hell to go down to like negative DA towards the end of the race season and try and get this car like low low 11s I think the, the world record right now for a manual mark 7 is like 11 1 so I mean I ran a 12 2 at 1100 DA on just 91 octane tune so we throw in an E85 tune with you know another 150 pounds out of the car at a negative DA I mean if everything's just right it could be pretty dope so we'll see uh, also, shout out to Eric, my roommate, for getting some of those outside clips. Um, Shannon and the M3, uh, they both have YouTube channels. So, um, Eric, he's, his car should be going on dyno soon again, but the last time he made 770. And then Shannon, he has a handful of cars. He's got that M3, E46 M3, he's got an E36 M3, he's got a 300ZX, he's got a Datsun with, I don't even know what L series motor, but it's all redone with you know real coal packs and fuel injection and turbo and the thing is sick he's got all types of stuff going on he's a master mechanic ASC certified has his own shop and and all this stuff so his channel is really dope he's got tons of we're like right at the same subscriber count too and he's got like so many but I think he's got like a 28 part video on the 300 ZX and all this you guys gotta check out check out both channels both links will be down below and uh, yeah we'll see this We'll have another video this week with the cool packs and the motor mounts going in. Look out for that Thursday and uh, we get on a dyno Friday, uh, test and tune Friday night, um, flashlight shooting event, event Saturday, and then the following weekend we got a uh, no prep event that I'm in with a bunch of fast cars at a track that's known to be like super slippery. So that's where my car is going to shine against a bunch of higher horsepower real draft cars. So lots of stuff coming up. Uh, still no tracking on the hatch or the rear end stuff as expected everything's going to take forever covid production plus i ordered all the rear end stuff before it even went live on the site so just holding our horses anyway rambling for six minutes here thanks for watching guys questions comments concerns drop them on below i'll be coming out with merch soon and i'll uh, i'll see you in the next video